So team, I cooked overnight another pot of uh, the chicken with my seasoning. And I like the strips here, so I just cut them all into strips and you'll see the olive oil. And I just pull a little bit of that off and then I'll just mince it up with a nice wooden spatula and it becomes really just super moist and delicious. It's terrific for you. And obviously high protein, low calorie. So for my main dish today, I have some chicken that I slow roasted again overnight in a crock pot. It's just here to the side and it's done. It's kind of cool. Did an olive oil with some of my favorite seasonings, of course, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of my ground turmeric, and some kind of pepper and a little bit of a, a lemon pepper dash to it, just to add a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm gonna take some of this off, but I can see how nice these little pieces of fillets have come out and peppery that lemon pepper seasoning, no salt, and I'm just gonna crush them a little bit with my hands and just sprinkle them inside of one of my cabbage leaves. It's real nice, clean, very simple. A little bit here, some of the sauce, bring it in. Just keep that juice that's on the bottom of that pan actually in there. Drop it. I'm just gonna fill my leaf up real good. It's Nice, uh, I don't know, probably two ounces of chicken, which is good. About a tablespoon of walnuts I'll throw in. A nice teaspoon to tablespoon size of uh, slivered almonds and crushed pecans, just to add that sweetness flavor to it that I love. And a little bit more, I've got a sweet tooth today. Again, I'm gonna drop in some just feta cheese. It's one of my favorites, I really love that. Not too much, probably, oh, I'm overdoing it, I'm sorry. About two, two tablespoons, probably. I should have measured this one out a little bit, but. And I'll have that mixture uh, right on side of those leaves. I'm gonna cut up a, a fresh avocado that I have that's ready to go, and I'm gonna slide that on top of it, and I'll table it with my balsamic vinaigrette mixture that I make at home. Uh, right here with my seasoning in it to it, just to add a little bit of sauce on top of it. And this will be ready for presentation. It'll be terrific. And again, the avocados are something simple to cut up that I showed viewers before that just be careful when you're doing it. I just sharpened my knives. If you just cut around the ring, they just pop right open and I'll do a half here. But, uh, oops. I just like to make little slices right inside of it. And I'm going to switch knives. This one's a little too big, but I'll finish up with a little rounded parry knife. Again, I use the back side, so I don't really ever cut myself. And right inside that skin, and whoop, perfect. The little slices will cut, drop right out. You can split them. You can set them real nice if you want to, decorative, if you're presenting this for anybody. If not, you can mash it up and just use it as a nice paste. It's a great thing to do too. Just add some little bit more flavor to it, juice. And I'll scoop out the rest. It just pops right out of there. Terrific. I love it. Great fats, again, some of the best. And I'll just drizzle probably about a good tablespoon on there with my sauce. And voila. And I'll wrap this up into kind of my burrito shape. And I will have it as my main dish. And I keep forgetting to get more toothpicks because I like to stick a toothpick in there and just put it in. It makes great for presentation. And it's done and ready to go. Excellent, excellent meal, low carb, delicious for you with terrific fats. Wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoy this idea. We'll have it with my spaghetti squash when as soon as it's done here. It's going to be an awesome meal tonight. Hope you guys love it too.